So let me not tell you the story. So my challenges I've talked about, let me tell my stories, because it's very important to appreciate that. The major burdens I carry as a black leader in academic medicine are the burden of racial discrimination and the legacy of exclusion in academic medicine. When I came here in 1996, it was very lonely. I've told that story already. It's still lonely today. And I think it's truly a shame that we're still talking about us as being unicorns in what we do. Societal burden of being a black man in America, representing all of your race, negative stereotype threat of being lazy, not creative, aggressive, not smart. Um, these are comments I've heard over the years, okay? The cross of minority tax. Your mentoring junior faculty will look like you, who sound like you. You spend five hours a week mentoring junior faculty. I told my assistant, Carla, tell me how many hours I spend. And you spend weekends. You bring them to your homes. And I still have to compete for those grants. I still have to get tenured. I still have to teach. I still have to do all of the things that my white colleagues did. Think about that. It's really hard. That is the story. What else? Discounting of the scientific relevance of health equity research. Now we know better today with COVID pandemic. What else? The burden of conducting health equity research as a lived experience. That's tough. When I'm talking about health equity, it's a lived experience. Every paper, every grant, every talk I give takes me back. That is the burden, that is the pain, and yet the progress is really slow. Um, duality of an atypical black leader is a problem as well. Then the unicorn syndrome, this thing that you know, is so rare that you can't even tap it. But it's a duality, you're excited when janitors tell you, hey, Dr. Gedek, be nice to meet you. But you're also sad, because this is 2022, and that's what we're still dealing with. And of course, your position is not by merit. People have told me that I'm there because I'm black. 300 publications, 100 million NIH funding. All I have is NIH grants, where well, we have AHA grant now. But think about that. But again, it's because of your race that you're there. It's affirmative action. I did get a diversity supplement, don't get me wrong, but still, that's not the issue. Um, strategies to do this, create your own supportive environment where you can be yourself and express your failures. Find your circle of influence. Aggressively seek mentorship, both within and without. That's what I did. Uh, the minority interest group was really awesome for me here. Dispel negative stereotypes. Talk to yourself every day. I do that. Self-affirmation. Um, celebrate every success. Very important. Harness the power of your family. Draw on strength from family members. Gratitude is major. 